Greetings Food Adventurers, I'm Karen Ahmed. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to make Tutti Frutti in your own home. Tutti Frutti is typically made out of watermelon rind or raw papaya, but you can also make it out of a firm melon. This is just candied and sugar syrup. Food coloring is then added to it, it's dried, and then you can use it in so many different recipes. Before I go any further with this recipe, to make sure you subscribe to my channel and make sure to ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Now, let's get cooking. To make Tutti Frutti, ideally, watermelon rind or raw papaya is used. But it's not in season, so a nice firm melon will work well. For flavor, I will also add orange rind and ginger. I have a cup here of the melon and one tablespoon each of chopped ginger and orange rind. Boil everything in water for about 5 minutes. Once done, drain it. Now I'm going to add 1 cup of sugar and 1 cup of water and I'm going to allow this to boil for a few minutes. The pieces have cooled down a bit. They cooked a little bit earlier but they are still firm. Add the fruit back in and cook this till the melon becomes translucent. This should take about 10 to 15 minutes. Please note that if you're using watermelon, rind or raw papaya, it could take a little bit longer to get translucent. I'm now going to strain this and divide it into three jars. Using food coloring, I'm going to add a drop or so in each jar. I'm going with the traditional colors, that's red, green and yellow, but you can customize this any way that you like. I like to leave this alone for at least 30 minutes or longer if your Tutti Frutti needs to absorb the color. Once colored, I'm going to strain any of the remaining sugar syrup out and then I'm going to leave it on some mesh to dry. You want to make sure that whatever you leave it on, the air can pass right through it. Depending on where you are and the temperature of your kitchen, the Tutti Frutti can take anywhere from 24 to 36 hours to dry. Mine took over 36 hours since I used the flesh of the melon and not the rind. If they're a little bit stuck together, you can just cut them apart. These can then be stored for weeks in an airtight jar. Thank you so much for joining me on Cravings for Adventures. I hope you enjoyed this delicious recipe for Tutti Frutti. It's so easy to make. It does take a few days to dry out, but it's totally worth it. If you love this video, guys, give it a thumbs up. Also, leave me a comment below. I love hearing from you. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel, as well as that you've rung the bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. And follow me behind the scenes on all of my social channels. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, Pinterest, and most recently, you can also find me on TikTok. Until I see you next time, do take care. Bye. Okay, shut this. Uh, I need you to do a